most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I can't. What is up guys? My name is Mayan, aka Mental Oriental, aka Hawaii, whatever you want to call me, it's fine. I'm down with it. So the video as you guys can see by the thumbnail what this video is about is basically covering the uh, my Sage controller. Um, I did an unboxing. I'll probably leave the link in the description below if you guys want to check out the unboxing. But this is a review, a one month review of my Singe gaming controller. Now um, as you guys all know from my previous video from the unboxing video, I did have a scuff and um it went out with me it went out on me within a month of me having it i spent like 160 bucks i think on it i don't even remember how much i spent but i spent a lot of money on it and it went out within a month i was furious i was pissed and um while i had the scuff i got sponsored by cinch gaming and um i figured you know what i needed i need to play with this controller because i've been playing like this style like with a paddle or with a button you know for such a long time that for me to go back to claw is really like it's gonna take some more time to get used to and on the I needed to get back on the ground I was doing dark matter challenges and stuff so I said you know what I'm gonna order me a cinch gaming controller try these guys controller out and um I used my own code and you guys can use the code as well if you guys do choose to get you know choose to get a um cinch gaming controller my code is Hawaii H-A-W-A dash E for your five percent off and it also helps me out a lot and um but the review, my honest opinion of this controller, it's phenomenal. I love this controller. I love how the buttons are laid out. So you guys can see right here, this is the jump button. This is the, the knife button if you're playing tactical. And in so many scenarios, it has gotten me out on the jam. Like you guys will see in one point where a heat wave guy, I know he got shot by my, uh, my teammate got shot by him. He was right around there. So I just instantly boosted, aimed, and then killed him with the heat wave. So um, it does come in clutch situations like that. and. It is so underrated how much of a benefit and an advantage having one of these controllers are. Like having a scuff, having a cinch, having a shark, having a battle beaver. Like actually in game, it is phenomenal. That is why majority of the pro players, you know, besides Scump, uses uh, either a scuff controller or something in that nature. But um, it just gets you out of sticky situations while maintaining your aim, keeping your thumb on your, your aim stick. So. That is why I choose to have this controller because I played Claw. I got used to playing Claw because I just couldn't play regular. Like it was just getting so frustrated. I'd be get killed while Bush. I mean, you know, it wouldn't be too bad as it, you know, like if you're playing Black Ops 2, like Ghost, um, MW3, things like that. But like in this game where you're boosting around, like you need to have an alternative to boost while aiming besides playing Claw. You I mean you can play Claw, but one, it'll take some time to get used to. Two, you need to have the right hands for it. And um, basically, this controller, yeah, you're dishing out money, but if you think about it, a controller like this, you know, a Sony stock OEM controller is like 60 bucks. So you mean 40, 50 bucks more, you get a controller that it's la it lasts, it um, gives you a huge benefit, you can add on a lot of, um, you know, options and stuff like that. So in the long run, if you're like one of these die hard, try hard, you know, maybe even a competitive player or UMG player, you know, it is absolutely worth it to have a controller like this. And my honest opinion, the my Cinch Gaming controller last outlasted the scuff. It beat the scuff in the price. Um, the customer service is way, way, way better. And um, overall, I rate this controller um, like a 10 out of 10. Well, I would write, oh, I'm lying, okay, a 9 out of 10, because maybe like two weeks after I made the video, my A button right here, it started to stick. Same same situation with the scuff, and believe me, guys, I was furious. I was pissed. A guy commented, in fact, and gave me the idea to do this video. He's like, you know, it's been one month. How do you like your Cinch Game Controller? So um, I told him, you know, I'll be honest with you. Two weeks after making the video, my A button started to stick. So what I did was I tapped it a bunch of times. I put alcohol around, tapped it, and... I guess it freed whatever gunk there was around the button like right here whatever there was around here it cleared it and now it's worked fine it hasn't acted up since you know knock on wood but it's been working phenomenal for me and I absolutely absolutely love this controller and there really isn't nothing bad to say about it because the quality of build is, is great um, it's light because there's no rumbles the buttons work perfectly they work when they need to work um, and overall 
I love this controller and I'll be honest with you not because they're my sponsors again um, but if this controller ever would go out I would not hesitate to buy me another one like if I feel like it's acting up because you know these controllers they're electronic they're gonna act up eventually you know what I mean it doesn't last forever I will not hesitate to go buy me another cinch gaming controller not because you know they're my they're, they're my sponsors or whatnot but I just love the experience with I had with them and that is basically you know it guys like you guys gotta understand like this is not coming from like an old sponsorship you gotta say good things about it it's not like that it's my honest opinion and I really 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 do love this fucking controller it is phenomenal I love it so um oh, I didn't even tell you guys about the gameplay so this gameplay is of TDM um I was playing core TDM I went 40 and 10 um I, I went on a ruthless streak got my servers two times and um I don't know there's some dumb scenarios I have to stop reloading like after every shot you guys will notice like I think I get killed like right here doing that but um I think it is no it's the final game but guys this is the end of the gameplay I hope you guys did enjoy it um and I hope you guys did enjoy my review if you guys you know do like it please like it share it comment on it and subscribe if you're new if you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 content please let me know what you guys want to see I'll be doing some zombie gameplay and stuff like that so I hope you guys do, did enjoy this, you know, review video. Um, if you have any questions, please um, ask them in the comments below, and I'll definitely get back to you guys as soon as possible. But um, until next time, guys, thank you so very much for you guys' ongoing support. This is your boy, Mine, aka Mentor Oriental. As always, stay blessed, spread the aloha, Mentor Oriental. Peace.